Hey everybody, welcome back to Breakfast with Bob. My name is Bob Babbitt. We're at the Challenge Championship and the Collins Cup. We're brought to you by Master Spas, Hyper Ice, Form Smart Swim Goggles, You Can, Hoka One One, Clash USA, and of course our Challenge Athletes Foundation with me, the captains of the European team for the Collins Cup. Six-time Ironman World Champion, Natasha Bodman, two-time Ironman World Champion, Norman Stadler, who is the best tire changer on the planet. <laughs> And we were just talking about he barely remembers the time that he had a flat tire at Kona. It's, it's, it's hard to think back, and it, it was, wasn't that big a deal. No, it's, it's a long time ago, you know, 2005, so, but still, like yesterday. Yeah, it like yesterday. Like yesterday, yeah, when we talk about it. So what, what did uh, the guy say to you today? You know, I know, I know his, don't know his name, but he said every time we ride our bikes uh, and we have a flat tire, we start laughing and, and screaming and say, fucking tire. So, <laughs> so you got so, a legacy. Yeah, I am a legacy. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of legacy, so we have, you guys have on paper, yeah. a pretty amazing team. Right? The best. Yeah. And when you look at the matchups with Daniela and Teresa Adam and Taylor Nib. So it's a little bit of an unknown because Taylor's riding a road bike and she's coming off of, you know, the Olympics and she's, this is, uh, it's, she has done 170.3 um, and Teresa has been racing down in, down under and down in, in New Zealand and you don't know uh, the level of competition that she's been racing against. So what do you guys think with, with Daniela? See, I did myself Olympic distance before I raced Ironman. Yes. So it's a, a very good pace yes. that these athletes are able, able to go. Um, I bet they swim out or can swim out, Daniela, on the, in the swim. Yes. Yeah? Because they come from the shorter distance. Mm. And uh, it will be interesting how long they can ride the aero position right. with a road bike, especially on that flat course, I think an aero position would be an advantage. Yes. And I'm not sure how long Taylor can keep up her, her bike power. Right. I bet Daniela will, will turn on her power meter <laughs> or her leg power on the bike and, and try to fix it there. Question is, is she riding with a road bike and a tri bar or is it just yeah but i think she's using a little tri bar and okay. i'm not sure if it's the one like the itu one that's really small or if she's got a little longer one on yeah there. but it's i yeah, know we i talked to daniela last night and we we talked about taylor nip and she said oh it's it's a bit of pressure because you know if she got beaten if she got beaten by a girl with a road bike <laughs> yeah. sort of like gustav aiden winning the 70.3 world yeah but i think in the end it's 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 a wetsuit swim which it's good, it's good for Daniela, and uh, yeah, but it's you know on paper it looks looks, it looks good, looks pretty good. And I, I really don't know the other yeah. girls from from exactly. Olympic distance. No. I know the European girls, and uh, that's yes. enough for me. What I love is when you look at like an Annie Hogg and Jeannie Metzler and Jackie Herring. They're all runners, right? Their their right. strength is a run. So it's, it's the, the captains did an amazing job of just creating wonderful matchups that I think are gonna, you know, even if, even if Europe wins everything, which looks like they could, I think it's still gonna be close in some yeah, of these matchups. Of course, of course, or even that some other teams are, are in front of on a certain point of the race. Yeah. Now, did you guys put Holly Lawrence and, and Ellie Salthouse have a little bit of a, they like a each rivalry? Other. They don't yeah, like each other. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. But I know that's I know. great that you put them together. I think they also got mic'd. Oh, they're mic good. So, yeah, yeah, because yeah. of that. So, yes. yeah. How fun would it have been to have you and Maka mic'd back in the day? We just talked about in another interview. My, my, if I can, can have a match now, which athlete I would pick? Maka. No, I would say Maka and Tim DeBoom. Of course. Yes. Right? Because those were the, the guys you were competing with in, back in the day. Yeah, and, and, and uh, Maka, you know, we had our difficulties and uh, yeah trash talking and with Tim I did my last Ironman in Hawaii 2010 we crossed the finish line together and we said we never come back <laughs> and you haven't so we, we haven't so <laughs> and yeah did you Natasha did you have a was there a rival for you somebody who with Lori Bowden or was there a, one particular person you were worried about when you went to the race start I think it was more Paula because uh, for mm. me she was the 
the Iron Lady. Right. I came. I'm. I was the Swiss. The Swiss girl from yes. countryside girl, and I even didn't speak uh, her language pretty well. I remember coming to the finish line and Mike Riley asking me a question, and I said, "Sorry, I couldn't understand it." <laughs> 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 and and so for me, the 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 intensity of the all of the uh, um, I would say of the California Mafia, yeah. how we named it back then. Yeah, it was it was yeah. It's it so it strong mafia. and so carrying also for European who, who came over that it was another time we, we had no uh, videos and right. internet and everything like today so it was yeah it was kind scary. of a Norman scary. moved to San Diego and became part of the mafia yes yeah I loved it I, I came to San Diego because of Jürgen yes. Jürgen Sag Attack and uh, I enjoyed the Californian lifestyle. Of it was very cool. Tuesday yeah, run, Wednesday ride. It was Wednesday not like ride. a hotel where it was all the triathletes. So, you know, I stayed with Wendell and uh, then I got my own place to stay. And you know, I, I stayed with Paula too and, and, yes. and, and Paul. Oh, yeah. uh, one year, the year I won uh, 2006, yes. I stayed with uh, Paula and uh, amazing time. And uh, the training back, hard, but, you know, so simple. Every... Every day in the week was the same, you know? It was planned out. Yeah, yeah every doing. week was the same. So we had our Wednesday ride, Saturday ride, Sunday run, and the golf course, Rancho Santa Fe, yes. with the high school runners, and uh, breakfast house, a uh, pancake house was the yes. point for the long ride. And we said good morning, and that's it. And then we, we, we pushed six hours. I love it. So when you look at Collins Cup, this is in this last couple of years, PTO has really stepped in to help out the pros, help out the race directors. Um, uh, what are your thoughts on just this? This is a pretty historic event that, that, that we're all involved with. It's a historic event and it's long due for the sport. This yeah. is the, it's sport became a business and it's the, it's the next level. It couldn't, it was great. The time we had was was great. I didn't want to miss it and, and yes. I would do the same again. Yes. But uh, it's not on how it could be today it's not to up to the today's standard right. so what the collins cup is doing is bringing the sport to the next level and it is needed especially in these pandemics how should we race 2000 athletes together with the COVID situation right. to have these matches of three bring so much spectacle and i ha i got social media answers and 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 athletes wrote me i'm gonna be all the time on the on the wind train i watch it this is like <laughs> christmas christmas and birthday together so people oh, really yeah yeah yeah, yeah they well they like forward. to see our athletes yeah. and it's showcased. easy to swallow you know yes easy to 12 races and every race is different and you, the runners, you know the you heroes the are in the races yeah. and uh, the guys you know normally they they hate each other so they have rivalries like sebastian and patrick patrick they've and become Frodo. buddies now now we are a team and and uh, that's good to see uh, they talk to each other and uh, yeah it's it, it's i would love to race this format yeah, I bet you would. I yeah, bet you'd be really good at it too. Yeah. And me too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah really, it is. Cool. The other part of this, which is great, I think the having the captains and having the history, right? You having you guys connected <coughs> and those guys asking questions and just understanding when they see how much you guys love the sport, and you know, and how fit everybody still is. When you look at Mark and Dave and yourselves, and uh, this sport changes your life for the better in so many different ways and you guys are living breathing examples of that has it been fun for you to hang out with this next generation not only with the next generation you know last night we had dinner and i, I saw you when yeah. i left dinner so i was sitting with jan frodeno and daniela on one table next table were dave scott mark allen yes, and, I was there. and yeah, yeah. and, and uh, smyers uh, you know i counted i think 21 Ironman wins in one yep. room yep. and now we have the next generation most of them they could be my kids yes oh absolutely they could be your kids 25 or a little bit older so it's amazing to see and uh, yeah it's 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 an honor for me and I think for 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 Natasha too to be the captain of the European team and uh, that's what we deserve no as question former world champions and you know there's another big competitor to the PTO, uh, let's say that it's, it's Ironman and they never used the old or the former winners from Hawaii. Right. So we yeah. never got an invitation. Yeah, we get an invitation, but 
blah 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 you can come and uh, if you, know, you get here if you, we'll, if get you pay here, your plane we'll ticket we'll if you, you pay your accommodation yeah. you can come but you know uh, we made the sport big no question and uh, that's now we get something back not 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 even money wise but, no no you know, it's just respect, the respect and to understand uh, what we did for yes. the sport and uh, we, we paved the road for for the now for the young guys yeah the the when you think about the champions someone like yourself people think of rivalries they think of you in maca yeah and when they think of you they think of the swiss miss with the smile <coughs> on her face kissing babies during the marathon when you're leading by half mm. an hour and, and but everybody won differently and yeah. everybody represented something different yeah. which is what you know, Jan Ferdano is different from Sebastian Keenley and from Patrick Lange, but they all are incredible representatives of our of course, sport, and I, I just, I just love every aspect. Now of with it. Lionel and Sam yes. Long, oh, that was, <laughs> now we have some characters again in the sport. Well, that's actually my the one I'm going to be watching the most: Sebastian Keenley, Lionel Sanders, Andrew Starkowitz. I mean, that just is a crack of. I know Lionel just did two Ironmans in a month. Yeah. yeah, and Starkey says he really hasn't been swimming much, which I thought he would get a big gap in the swim, but it doesn't sound like he thinks he will. But just those three personalities are so fun. Starkey wrote me and he said, yeah, he's going to wait at the finish line uh, for con to congrats, Sebi. I think you came with Starkey in the plane. Yes. And I had the same taxi with him to Samorin from okay. the airport. Okay. So we talked about, and you know, he's, he likes to talk. Yes. And you know it's a triathlon, and it uh, the course fits him perfectly. Yeah. It does the bike course. He can yeah. push eighty kilometers on the aero position, but you know in the end it's uh, still an eighteen kilometer run. You gotta run. And uh, it's a wetsuit swim, a two po t two k swim, and uh, you know Lionel is a little bit yeah handicapped. Yes. <laughs> after his Ironman. Yeah. But still, you know he he recovers really fast, and this guy did three Ironmans in eight weeks. <laughs> crazy he's, he's, he's the, but all the other matches are ugh, spectacular they really are yeah. hey i want to thank you guys one for being part of this because i think it brings so much credibility to the first ever collins cup to have athletes believing in something that's never happened before yes. that that takes a lot a lot of time people will say you do it and i'll come next year yes. if it looks good yes. so you're sort of putting your own reputations on the line and mm -hmm. you know that means a lot to the folks at the pto and and obviously to all the athletes racing so thank you very much Welcome. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. And we have had our two captains, Norman Stadler and Natasha Badman, from the European team, which, on paper, looks to be the best team out here for the Collins Cup. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. See ya. Hold on. We'll be right back. <laughs>